So we have a 3D model and I would love for you to explain atherosclerosis and how triglycerides affect this as well. So going back to the concept of the particle driving vascular disease, and this is kind of the concept as as to why some people can have very high cholesterol and even high triglycerides with no vascular disease. So the particles, these are actually a mock-up of blood cells, but the particles actually travel through the blood and they're meant to be going to the liver where they can be returned, uh, where they can be eliminated. What happens is, this is a cross-section of an artery wall. And here's an inner lining of cells called the endothelium, and this is the main part of the artery wall. When something erodes or inflames this endothelium, tobacco, processed foods, not getting enough sleep, um, stress, things in our society that we haven't even identified, then these particles filled with the cholesterol and triglyceride get into the wall where they lead to an inflammatory response which leads to plaque. So the reality is the disease occurs in the walls of the arteries. Something gets uh, inflamed, the particles get in. So triglyceride levels are markers of an inflammatory process in our body which translates to the arteries. Now the concern is when the plaque builds up, it can narrow an artery, and ultimately, and this is a simple, demogra simple graphic, when this wall rips, which is then, what we're seeing, which right? Is what we we're have seeing a lot of here, plaque build up. Then all this plaque gets exposed to the Ooh. bloodstream, and this causes blood clots. So this is a normal artery. This is a narrowed artery, so someone might get some chest discomfort when they're exerting themselves. But when this rips, a blood clot forms, and now you have a blocked artery and a heart attack. So the driver of the process, what starts this whole cascade of events, we could argue, would be lipid abnormalities, as evidenced by triglyceride elevations or cholesterol problems. So that starts this process of inflammation, which leads to the plaque buildup, which can eventually lead to the heart attack and death, which is obviously what we like to avoid.